two at six, pulling funding from schools that teach a slavery project. An Iowa House subcommittee advanced that bill this week. The author of the 1619 project is an Iowa native. KCCI's Rhea Spigner has this story tonight. Rhea, the author says she's not surprised by this pushback. Yeah, some Iowa Republicans accuse the 1619 project as being political and not a factual part of history. Well, the author, Nicole Hannah Jones, grew up in Waterloo. She says those accusations are simply not true and says not only is this move an attack on journalism, but an attempt to whitewash a crucial part of American history. A case can be made that there's a lot of folks on both sides of the aisle that would say this is just factually inaccurate uh, curriculum. Um, that's that's being promoted and really is it something that even should be in the the history class it is just to me utterly disgraceful that that this state would do this against uh, its own native daughter my family is all in Waterloo right now I, I come to Waterloo all the time my mom is still in my childhood home that I lived in uh, you know since I was five years old and uh, it's just it, it, again I'm just disappointed that my own state would uh, attempt to do this Although the bill did advance on Tuesday, Hannah Jones says she does not believe Iowa Republicans will be successful. You can watch that full interview on KCCI Close Up that Sunday at 1030.